Hey everybody, this is a day I have been waiting for, well it feels like four years, because it has been four years, we finally get our first hands-on look at the US found version of the Volkswagen ID Buzz. The micro bus has returned to the US, it's coming next year, and in this video we're going over all the cool gadgets and gizmos, talking about what makes this thing so special, and talking about why you should be as excited as I am about the return of the micro bus. You're probably thinking at this point, we've seen the ID Buzz, we know what it's all about, except it's not what you think, because the ID Buzz we've seen um, in media and on YouTube and all over the internet is actually the one sold in Europe right now, but that's not the one coming to the US. The one coming to the US is this one, and there's some big differences between the US spec model and the Euro spec model, primarily the length. So they're calling this the long wheelbase ID Buzz. It's about 10 inches longer than the European model, and it has three rows of seating unlike the, uh, the one sold across the pond, which has two rows of seating. Now you're probably thinking, well, 10 inches longer, this thing has to be huge. It's gotta be like Tahoe sized. Not quite. The sizing is pretty interesting. Now width wise, it's about as wide as the Volkswagen Atlas SUV, but it's roughly five inches shorter, but it's also taller. So this thing really is a large box which is what it should be, because it's a Volkswagen microbus. And this is about as close to a microbus as we have seen here in the US for a bunch of years. So it initially came out, of course, the original Type 2, started production in November of 1949. The last time we saw one here in the US was 2003 for the 04 model year, and then there was the Rutan. We don't need to talk about that, but now the bus is back and let's talk about some of the really cool things on the outside. What I love about the ID Buzz is that it stays true to its roots. So this vehicle debuted back in 2017 at the 2017 North American International Auto Show. And we saw it and it looked super futuristic and crazy and we all said that's great but it's not gonna look like that. They're gonna make it, you know, all civilized and boring. But they've actually kept it pretty similar to the concept, and that's to say it's super fun and spunky. So in the front we have these IQ lights, full LED, and I love this long continuous light bar that connects the headlights together, but more importantly, the ginormous VW emblem is retained from the original model. Now it's a little smaller maybe than the original Type 2, but it's back illuminated, it looks great, and really ties in the front end design. Another fantastic design element of the ID Buzz is they have retained the vertical front end of the original. Now of course the original, your knees were literally your crumple zones, but in this vehicle, they've engineered it in such a way where you still have that iconic profile, but of course you have modern crumple zones and crash safety technology. That took a lot of engineering, but it really makes this vehicle stand out. Now, one interesting thing about the way Volkswagen is marketing this vehicle is they won't call it a van. They call it a bus. Now, for you and I, it still has sliding doors on both sides of the vehicle, and even the base standard model ID Buzz is going to have the power sliding doors, but that's not just one of the cool things on the side of the vehicle. There's actually a lot of really interesting design elements. So one thing I love is that Volkswagen isn't offering any boring colors on the ID Buzz. There are no blacks, there are no whites. It's all fun stuff. And this two-tone is my favorite. This is called Cabana Blue. It's this kind of bright blue contrasting against this white. And this color is unique to the long wheelbase model coming here to the US, which I think is fantastic. Now coming along to the rear, you see this design element with these three slits. This is a throwback to the original Type 2. Of course, it was rear engine air cooled, it needed air to get to the rear engine. Nowadays it's fully electric, but the slits have remained. Coming along to the back of the ID Buzz, very vertical, very kind of flat back, which is great because what's the best way to store a lot of stuff in a box, which is what this vehicle is. And then of course you've got your rear wiper, the long continuous LED light bar, big Volkswagen logo, and ID Buzz outlined in white on this model, which I think looks fantastic. White is a very retro color. If you want to make your car look angry and mean, you make it black. If you want to make it fun and retro, make it white, and that's exactly what Volkswagen has done. Now the Volkswagen ID Buzz comes standard with 20 inch wheels. This one's rolling on 21s, and this is still early in the production of this vehicle, so um, some of these things may not quite be finalized, but notice like the aero look on this wheel. It's all designed to maximize aerodynamics, and then the charge port is located right here on the right rear quarter panel. So the big question is, 
Is the interior of the ID Buzz as exciting as the exterior? And I have to say the answer is yes. This thing is super airy, futuristic, and there's a lot of really cool stuff going on. So let's start out with the standard tech. The small screen in front of me is a 5.3 inch display and the large screen is a 12.9. Now, I think Volkswagen realized that the ID4 had a problematic launch, especially with the technology and the touchscreen display. So this has been redesigned. It's now the touchscreen out of the brand new Volkswagen ID7. It's got illuminated volume controls. It's got illuminated temperature controls. It still is all very touch sensitive, but the screen looks better and looks to be a much more promising addition compared to what we see in the ID4. Now, let's talk about the rest of the interior in here. First of all, there is no divider between the driver and the passenger clean open pass through concept makes it feel very airy the windshield is pretty far in front of you in fact so far even at six feet tall i can't quite touch it but because it's very vertical it feels um very bus like it feels very micro van like which is what this vehicle is and then you have these enormous quarter windows which let in a ton of light now there are three interior color palettes once again not too many blacks and whites and you know just standard boring colors they're all very um, um earth tony and they're all very exciting now across the dashboard here we do have this nice wood trim which looks great contrasting against the silver and then in this model we do have some color this color might change a little bit they said based on uh, you know um, uh, what they finalized the version with but really really cool seeing some actual color come in here the seats are these large captain's chairs in the front with these integrated armrests once again kind of helping with that bus theme and they are height adjustable uh, standard heated seats standard ventilated seats standard leatherette seats there's no leather you know sustainability standard massage seats which I think is really, really neat. Um, other nice things in here, which I'm noticing just right off the bat, we've got these uh, USB-C ports located here next to the steering wheel and these cubbies, lots of cubbies for all sorts of things. Pull down this right here. You've got two cup holders. The Germans realized us Americans like our big gulps. So we've got great accessible cup holders here. And then this center console, push this little button. Let's see what this does. Oh, is that, that, that moves, it comes out. Look at that. So if you wanted even more room and flexibility, you can just take the whole darn center console out. Pretty crazy. Quick pause from this video to show you some of the rapid fire gadgets and gizmos. This little divider comes out of the center console. It says caps on it. And that right there is the bottle opener. And this one comes out and that is a built in ice scraper. How cool is that? This cubby extends from the center console and on the side of it is a world map with a little tiny integrated ID buzz. One of the coolest features on the inside which made it from the concept, the pause and the play button on the brake and the accelerator. One of the big challenges in designing a huge door with big glass is creating a window that opens. Volkswagen solution is a throwback, a window that slides open. So we got to step into the back seat of the ID Buzz because that's what the Volkswagen van has always been known for is the amount of space and configurability. And let's see if Volkswagen has delivered with the new ID Buzz. Well, the first thing you notice is that this one has a bench seat, but you can configure this vehicle with captain's chairs. So it's either a six or a seven seater. This one, of course, is the seven seat configuration. Now this bench also slides forward and backward, and it's not just the one continuous bench that slides, it's actually a split with these two seats and this one seat. And the third row does the same, we'll find out. So you can actually maximize the space depending on which row you want to prioritize. This roof is the largest glass roof in the Volkswagen lineup, over 67 inches. And um, it has an option to be like crystallized. You know, it's got that feature where you can make it opaque at the push of a button. I love these little trays, which extend from the back front seat, just like you'd find in a Rolls Royce. And it's got an integrated cup holder, which is really, really nice. And there's even a built-in phone holder up here on the back of the driver and the passenger seat. Now, some other things which are cool, this little cubby extends back from the center console. You know, got a little bit of storage space back there. And then the seats also recline. So pull a lever, they recline back, pull it again, you know, recline forward. So you do have some recline in the front and the back of the ID Buzz. Rear seat passengers are also not gonna be hot or cold because they have their own integrated climate control. We got to check out the third row in the ID Buzz because of course that's the big news about the US model is the availability of the third row. So I have uh, the second row adjusted and then of course you can fold it forward quite easily. Wow, the space back here is immense. 
look, I've got lots of leg room, and with especially cool is I have pretty decent headroom as well. You know, uh, compared to like a typical SUV where you sit up high in the third row and you're like, <laughs> You know, head is cranked to one side. This is a super roomy place to be. We've got cup holders, we've got USB-C ports, we've got armrests, and we even have the ability to slide forward and backward. You know, in just about every vehicle, the third row is kind of a penalty box, but not in the ID Buzz. This is a great place to spend time. Let's talk about some of the really important tech specs. So this vehicle is powered by a 282 horsepower motor in the rear, which is 81 more than the European model. Rear wheel drive on the standard one, all-wheel drive is going to be available at launch with 330 horsepower and the battery is 91 kilowatt hours which is bigger than the two row which is like 82 kilowatt hours. Now we don't know the range or we don't know the zero to 60 times but if I had to guess you know, I think this is an educated guess. I'd say range is of around 250 miles, zero to 60 for the all-wheel drive, maybe even around five seconds. Um, but uh, we'll have more specs closer to launch, Q3 of 2024. And speaking of range, next week, Andre and I are about to embark on a cross-country adventure from California to Florida in one go as part of our D2D series. Be sure to stay tuned to that over at TFL EV. All right. Opening up the power lift gate of the ID Buzz to check out the trunk space and the things that we can do back here. Now, first of all, you'll notice these little cables on the back of the third row. You can actually use these to recline the seats back if you want more comfort or pull them when you're back here and the third row will recline all together. You notice how that goes completely flat with this little storage floor. And then the second row does the same thing, so you could fit a mattress back there if you wanted to use this for camping. The other cool thing too is, um, if I slide out these bins, you can actually see there's a mechanism way underneath there where you can remove the third row altogether. So pull a lever, pull a handle, the third row can completely slide out, which is very, very cool. You also have these little storage bins, which you can use for groceries and the like, and then this little cover folds up, you can use it as a divider, these come out, very configurable back here, tons of stuff you can do. I also like your little integrated hook back here, and of course, 12 volt power. All right, so the fine folks over at VW here are gonna demonstrate how the third row comes out completely. You've got these little clamps which unfold, then that comes out. Look guys, how can you not be excited about this? Volkswagen has come out. They've brought the iconic microbus back to the States. It's been gone for over 20 years. And I think realistically, a lot of people feel the last one was the air-cooled one, which happened in the 20th century. But overall, I mean, they did such a good homage to the original with a, you know, a, a, a look toward the future, making this vehicle all electric. And I can't wait to see what this thing drives like. As always, this has been Tommy with TFL EV. I can't wait to bring you more coverage. This is one of the more fun ones I've done. We'll see you in the next video.